Hey YouTube, I'm back to you guys today with a, another mini haul um, from Walgreens. So I know previously in my other my last video, uh, I told you guys I went in looking for the um, eight color palettes from Wet n Wild, and I was able to find them this weekend. When did I call it? I think Friday or Saturday I found them at one of my local Walgreens. And first, I'm going to show you guys this. Now this is one of the spring color um, trios from Color Icon, and this one is in Spoil Brat. And this was like the only one besides the one I showed you guys already. I, the one I bought per previous to this was Silent Treatment. And this one is the silver, the hot pink, which is really what grabbed my attention, and then this color here. Which is dupable. I think every single makeup line has a color like this. Black with chunky um, silver glitter in it. So yeah. I like this palette a lot. And these are really soft. Um, and the pigmentation is pretty good on these as well. So next I want to show you guys these. I did pick up two of these Sally Hansen um, nail polish strips. And if y'all go check out Mimi Janelle 85, I love her y'all, y'all gotta go check her out. She has these on right now, and this is the gold one with the glitter, and this is the houndstooth, which is what I was really looking for, but this one is kind of hard to find. So yeah. And these are on sale right now at Walgreens for buy one, get one 50% off, so y'all go check these out. If y'all are interested in getting more than one right now instead of paying $10 a piece, but it's totally up to you. Um, and next, y'all. I am in love. When I say I'm in love, like I'm freaking obsessed because these palettes, if y'all ever go out and buy anything I talk about, this is what you need to buy. I can't even say pick one out of all three because they're still $5 a piece, $4.99. They're the same price as the six color palettes. So you're getting your, you know, compared to other, you know, wet and wild colors, this is worth your money. Compared to other drugstore, this is worth your money. And compared to MAC, this is worth your money. All three of them are $15. One MAC eyeshadow is $14.50 if you buy it in the container. If it's just, just the pan, of course, it'll be $11. But the pigmentation in these, crazy. Crazy. They are so soft. It is ridiculous. These are so worth your money. And I'll even go out to say that these better than a lot of the MAC shadows. Yep. And I say MAC because, <clears throat> of course, there are lots of other brands out there that are better than MAC as well. They're also high-end. Um, but I just use MAC as comparison because everybody knows about it. Everybody's been to MAC before. If you haven't been to MAC, you know where one is. If you haven't been to MAC or you don't know where one is, you know somebody that, you know, somebody close to you or somebody you know has been to MAC before. So that's why I compare it to MAC. Um, Y'all. I can't say enough. I can't because this is so worth your money. And the size of the shadows are the same size as they are in the trios. And this one is called Comfort Zone. Oops. And I have all four of these on today, on this look. Now, the only thing I will say about this um, is they don't have matte in any... I think there's only one... Out of all three palettes, there's one matte shadow, and it's a matte black. Um, you know, in the regular six um, color icon palette, one side is matte and one side is, you know, shimmer uh, or satin. These seem to be like shimmer and satin finishes. Every single last one of them. So, but I'm telling y'all, these are so worth your money. I cannot stress this enough. I cannot stress it enough. So, yeah, let me just go ahead and... This one is Comfort Zone. Now, if you're a neutral person, then grab this one. I mean, there's... Du this is a dead-on dupe for bronze, expensive pink. Uh, I want to say this is close to Beauty Mart. Um rice paper. I mean, and that's four right there. That's four MAC shadows, MAC dupes. This one is Club. 
right here. I mean, and that's in one palette. So compare it to three of them, you, it's so worth your money, y'all. I can't, I'm sorry, I keep saying it over and over, but it's so worth your money. Eight shadows for five dollars. It don't get no better than that. It don't. Trust me when I say it does not get better than that. Um, every single last one of these are pigmented. That's one swipe. One swipe. Look at that. That's crazy. Now, these are extremely soft, so you will get a lot of fallout. When I used it today, I did my foundation afterwards. Y'all look at that. Y'all saw me wipe it one time. Swatch one time. Swipe one time. No primer. No nothing. No base. This is what you get. Let me get this. This is what you get. Ridiculous. That's crazy, y'all. I can't even tell y'all. Like, seriously? Let me see if I can swatch the other ones. The green one? Let me see if I can swatch that one for you. I mean, I can't spend that much time on one palette, but look at that. Ridiculous. Look at that. That pigmentation is off the chart. And they are so soft. I mean, no streaking, no nothing. They blend beautifully. Um, I had no complaints. And you know how most palettes, um, some of the colors are better than others. Of course, the lighter shadows will always give you the, I feel, will always give you the most problems. But this one, mm-mm. Nope. The lighter shades work just as far as the dark ones. As far as the comfort, I'm talking about comfort zone palette. Now, the next one is blue had me at hello which is obviously the blue um palette and here it is y'all I love this <laughs> I love these this is teal pigment right here by MAC I think this one or this one might be Deep Truth, one of the two darker blues. I'm not, you know, up on all of my MAC shadows like some people are, but y'all, I love this. Now this one has, it's similar to the one I was telling you about in Spoiled Brat, the black with the silver, but the thing about this one, this one seems to have like some blue shimmer as well, shimmer as well, excuse me. This is the only matte color out of all three of the palettes. It is a black. Um, Y'all, let me just... Yeah, I think the black ones are the least pigmented. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. That is crazy. That's that teal one. Mmm. This blue one. Oh! child please craziness okay look at that y'all look at that what five dollars for eight shadows that's just five of them right there let me see if I can do the other ones now two of these one of the greens in the comfort zone palette and this blue one is really close to my, um, what is this? From Venomous Villain, She Who Dares, which I'm going to show y'all. Now, She Who Dares has a lot more glitter in it. These are a lot more pigmented. Um, y'all, I'm telling y'all, this is just craziness, okay? There's one of these I may have swatched already. I don't remember which one it was. Look at that. That blue. Ooh! This is the matte black right here. Ooh, y'all, that blue. Ooh. 
Look at that. What I was talking about with the She Who Dares. Um, they're not exact dupes, but they're really close. If you weren't able to pick it up, this was the She Who Dares um, from the Venomous Villains collection. And it was the blue and the green mineralized um, eyeshadow. And these two in the middle, that's She Who Dares. Now, this one from the Comfort Zone would be this green one here. And it's obviously more olive. And that's this one here. And then from the, what is it called? Blue Had Me Had a lot at Hello would be this blue one here. And that's this. So as you can see, they're close but not dupes. Um, like I was telling you, these are more pigmented and these have more glitter. It's the purple palette. These two I'm loving. Especially this one. This one has to be my favorite. This one's really cute. This is part, um, this color was also in one of the other mineralized finishes, uh, eyeshadows from the Venomous Fields collection. Here are the swatches from the purple palette. Gorgeous! So yeah, all three of them worth your money. Five dollars? What eight shadows aren't worth five dollars? If there was one shadow in here, I would buy it for five dollars. These are so worth your money. Go out and get these. I'm telling y'all, you'll love it. Let me let y'all look at these one more time. I'm running out of time, so that's why I can't really go into detail about the purple one, but this is a pretty color. Both of these are gorgeous colors right here. This one is kind of, this one probably be the most difficult to work with as far as blending in. Yeah, so this is the last palette, y'all, the purple one. One last look. Go out and get these palettes, y'all. Leave me a message. Let me know if y'all have them, if y'all like them. Um, tell me if y'all go out and get these. Other than that, I'll see y'all later. Bye! Mwah. Go buy these palettes, y'all.